How do YouTube? Hope everyone's okay. Uh, now, obviously, you've seen the thumbnail. I haven't because I haven't made it yet, but you have. So technically, you're seeing it before me now. But I'll be seeing it before you, before you see it. If that makes sense. Anyway, um, I've got a question. There was a post on one of the big-ish uh, woodworking forums. I don't want to take this channel into something I don't want it to be, and I don't want to go down any sort of bad routes. But I've asked this question before, and I didn't really get much response. So I was literally read this, and I thought, you know what? This will make an absolutely amazing subject to discuss. And I thought I would put a quick video out and ask you lot as a bigger audience what you think on the whole situation i've got my ideas and my opinions but obviously it'd be nice to hear everyone's sort of side of their story and what they feel so yeah anyway without rambling the the question is as you've seen in the thumbnail are hobbyists ruining the the trade for for people like me um and anybody else that is, is in the trade i'm specifically talking about woodworking obviously because that's my bread and butter so i just you know before i leave or before we go any further as well i do want to say this is not a dig or uh, an attack or aimed at anybody in particular it's purely a, a general question i'm putting out to you lot to see what you think now the post was i'm not going to name put any names out there but basically the chap's a hobbyist slash newbie, woodworker, whatever you want to call yourself. And he asked what sort of hourly rate should be charged for a said person to make stuff and sell them uh, is the sort of gist I got from the whole uh, post. And he said, which I was so shocked, he said that he's roughly charging about £1.50 an hour. Can you say that again? Just the way you said it. About £1.50 an hour. No, God! Now, without going on too much, obviously that is far too low by anybody's standards. If you are watching this, uh, mate, obviously, you know, if you don't value your time or if you value your time at that much, you know, but yeah, I just want to put a question out there. Do you think hobbyists are ruining it for the trade oh i don't want to i don't want to take this channel down a different route guys i want this channel to be fun gotta love a rosy lee do you know what i mean who doesn't love a cup of rosy lee two sugars splash of milk thank you very much uh i want it to be more builds than discussions but i really do find this a, a very interesting topic and i thought Hopefully I don't lose any subscribers over this. I thought I'd ask you lot. Now I know probably most of my channel is made up of DIYers, hobbyists and that. And obviously that's fine. I'm not attacking you in any way. Please don't think that. I just want to ask you what your opinion is. If there's any trades on here, let me know what you think. Cause yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you charge what you want to charge and if you're happy with it, that's completely fine. Nobody can tell you what to do in that aspect. But just as a general sort of rule, you know, value your time a little bit better. If you're knocking out good quality gear, I know hobbyists and they knock out some real fine furniture and they class themselves as a hobbyist because it's a hobby to them, you know. But when you're out there trying to sell it and obviously you class yourself as a hobbyist, <coughs> just value your time because it it does make it harder for people like us so anyway i'm gonna wrap this up i don't want it to be a massive long video a question which i'll keep rambling on about let me know in the comments what your thoughts on this are um if you you know if if you think i'm being unfair or whatever let me know um and yeah let's have a nice little discussion keep it friendly keep it tidy don't go off on a tangent because we don't want to be reading that. Um, and yeah, I look forward to um, reading the comments, guys and girls and kids and the older generation. <sighs> so yeah, got some really cool videos coming out, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I don't know what they are or when they're coming out. Because I have, funnily, I have just realised that I am consistently good at uploading randomly, if that makes sense. I'm consistent at being random. 
How was about that? What a 42 carat plonker you really are! <laughs> Anyway, take it easy, guys. Have a nice weekend, and I will, well, I'll catch you later.